First Nations volunteers say this is a must, their own patrol of the riverbanks in Thunder Bay. These waters are where two First Nations teens were found dead earlier this month. If these weren't Indigenous youth, how would we be looking at this? Seven Indigenous teens have been found dead in rivers in Thunder Bay since 2000. Police investigators have failed to determine how the kids ended up in the water. First Nations leaders say it's time to bring fresh eyes to the situation. The Thunder Bay police cannot fix this. They've shown that they're not able to come to any uh, conclusion other than uh, the deaths are non-suspicious and non-criminal. But not everyone agrees that the river deaths need further criminal investigation. Many locals, including the mayor, say they were all accidents, the result of First Nations kids partying down by the river. You can't babysit these children, but we need to babysit them, obviously. Uh, we need to get measures in place that keep the kids away from the rivers, first and foremost. For First Nations leaders, these kinds of comments inflame growing racial tensions in the city. I'll be blunt here. It's just a case of of finding another dead Indian who rolled in the water, a drunk Indian that rolled in the water. That is the, the feeling we get from the community in Thunder Bay. Chiefs from across northern Ontario were in Toronto today demanding the RCMP take over Indigenous death investigations in Thunder Bay. They also want the province to disband the local police services board. Today, the board's vice chair issued this statement. Systemic racism is a much broader term than just the relationship between police and Indigenous communities. A police service cannot cure systemic racism. We accept that our service has a role to play. Young people, they experiment. They might drink sometimes. All youth, not just Indigenous youth, but for some reason, it's our youth that end up dead in the river. Ontario's police watchdog was already investigating the Thunder Bay police in the wake of complaints about systemic racism. Today, the safety minister announced an additional investigation into the competency of the city's police services board. Jody Porter, CBC News, Thunder Bay.